Good evening, friends. As your presidential candidate, I will now state how I feel what we can do to improve this in these nations, these states. For one thing, we got so many poor people out on the streets. I mean, we have soup kitchens and we have soup beds. We should really combine the two into soup hotels so that there would be a bed for every homeless person until they can get back up on their own feet. Also, lower taxes. I will propose lower taxes and we shall not have to pay so much. 5% is okay, but by not 2.5%. And we will not cut off any benefits for the old people. They are good. And we shall give them plenty of money so they can afford their medications and services to keep them alive. Because we do not pay for when we are sick. We pay for our good health. And we only pay after we're health. We're in good health. We pay to stay alive. We do not pay to die. And speaking of which, too much violence goes on within these city streets. I will propose only gun distribution to the official authority, which shall be the post which shall be within the police department. Nowhere else. And all guns owned by locals, community people, shall be taken away. At least the bullets. When the bullets are necessary or when there is an outbreak of violence from another nation or planet, then we shall issue the bullets. At all at three stations to be open immediately. Otherwise we'll send in our special troops, our special force. And also, we will be okay to have the gays within our community. In all states, there will be gay marriage ability for every state within the United Nations. I mean, keep it to yourselves in your room. Just don't force it upon everybody. Because what may, might, may be right for you may not be right for most, for some. You take the good from the bad, and then you get an opening statement like mine. People need to appreciate life so we will not have to face death. I lost my train of thought there, but that's okay. I am only human. We are all human. I am a noble, honest person. No matter what everybody else may say, even on the internet, and my opponent, Senor Cache de Clyde. He tells lies about me. And so do the trolls that have patrolled me over the internet. Their jeers and non cheers do not go appreciated. Because it is not everybody who can take a joke, even when it's at their own expense. And with that, I will propose internet securities reinforced by the FBI, and there will be patrol stations of the troll busters around these United States. And any, report, any troll activity that you may be suspicious of an individual, you report to your local authority. And they will tell, and then they will inform the local FBI station within that state. And then they will investigate thoroughly over the wireless that is called the Internet. And they will trace the emails back to the origin home address or location and they will be apprehended and fined or sentenced 
depending on how cruel they are to the victim. I stand strong. I stand firm. I am a noble leader! And if I am elected, I will do my best to keep our America strong and sound and not go down the drain. I'm sorry, Obama. I did vote for you, but I gotta agree with my father. You are bringing us some of, us, some of the situations downhill. But I have nothing against you because I did vote for you. And I liked your documentary on a and &E. I would shake your hand at the first opportunity I would to meet you, Mr. President. And therefore, I shall conclude my opening statements in the candidacy of the President by saying, I will do my best, and I am not lazy. Thank you. This ad is not real. I'm not being going to be elected president, but I tell the truth nonetheless of what I would do if I were to become president. Thank you.